Today, I'm going to be reviewing this. This is the Fanatec McLaren GT3 V2 rim. I've been racing with this for over two years and I bought it with my own money and Fanatec don't know I'm making this video. This is a completely unsponsored, uninfluenced review. This is just my honest opinions on whether this is basically the best Fanatec rim that you can get for the money and also how does it compare to other rims as well. Now, normally in the Fanatec ecosystem for about the 200 pounds, 200 euros, 200 dollars this thing retails for, your other option is this. It's the P1 rim. I've got the WRC variant here, but they basically look the same. And as you can see, first of all, you get a lot more buttons on the McLaren and you also get two extra shifts on the back as well and the grit throw difference. So I'm going to let you know, I'm going to go through, let you know what's good, what's not good. By the way, if you enjoy this review, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Let me know the question you've got in the comments. Now, the best thing for me about the V2 rim is when I'm doing games like iRacing and ACC, all of these knobs being adjustable is absolutely fantastic. So what that means is I can have here um, change camera, change car when I'm viewing in um, in third person. I can have the brake bias. Well, it's more difficult than it looks to <laughs> in reverse, but I can do all that stuff as well on the... Um, I can't remember what they're called, but because you can set them in different ways, you can have it as presets or you can have it as going left and going right. There's two options you have, I think, in the Fanatec fan lab system. So that stuff is great. Also, just the amount of buttons you have and where they're placed is fantastic as well. Now, if you're someone that can't use pedals for various reasons, you can actually have these to mirror the accelerator and the brake, which can, can be very useful. You can also use it, obviously, as a clutch as well. I actually use it now in Gran Turismo on PlayStation to look left and look right, which is quite cool. And that's the other big thing about this rim. It's with this rim, this is an Xbox rim, as you can see here with the Xbox logo. So when you use this on a PS licensed Fanatec wheelbase, like the CSL GTDD or something, and the CSL Lee, that means that you can use your whole system on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. And I've used this on PC, Xbox, and PlayStation. You're absolutely covered with that. You, you know, you've got full coverage. Anything comes out on any of those platforms, you know you can play it. It was absolutely fantastic. Now, the other really big thing about this rim for me is these triggers. These triggers are just a lot better than any other rim I've tried, really. Even the really expensive F1 rims from Fanatec and Moza, which often have a little bit more inconsequential. These are heavy duty shifters. You can see I've already rubbed off the paint after these two years, but the way these work is just massively, they, they boom as well. There's something about these big shifters that I absolutely love. These shifters on the P1, are pretty bad to be honest you can't even hear them the moza the, the moza r5 rim that is i think bit basically cheaper than this it has a lot better shifters so you're getting a big upgrade for that so that's absolutely fantastic things aren't so great um i do wish even though you have these red buttons i do wish they were a little bit better they go up and they go down i might prefer a system where they hold in the position that might be useful for something and they go in as well, but it's very difficult to actually do that without also putting it up or down. So these ones are a bit dodgy, but it's great to have that added functionality. I think you also lose out a couple of buttons on PlayStation. I don't think there's a right trigger and left trigger or R1 and it maybe it's R1 and L1 you don't have. So you have the left stick and right stick buttons, but you don't have an R1 and L1, which I think on this wheel, you have an LT and RT, you can see. So maybe that's the thing missing. So you do miss out something on console. The quick release has worked great for me. On the play seat challenge, it was difficult to pull and push out because the play seat challenge is so weak. But on my on my GT Mega Prime, it's absolutely fine. And I can do it one-handed, which is great. The grip as well. I want to show you. I haven't. I haven't. I've literally just taken this rim off my Fantech CSL I haven't sprayed it. I haven't wiped it down or anything. And it looks honestly, it's, apart from that wearing on the back. To me, this looks pretty brand new, including on the grips. I find it absolutely insane. You will know how much I've used this rim on my channel. And these grips, honestly, I'm trying to get this to focus a bit better, but it looks brand, there we go. You can see it looks absolutely brand new. There's no wearing on, I wanna know what they've used for this rubber because it's absolutely insane. It looks brand new. Compare that to the WRC rim, which I haven't used as much. And this also looks pretty brand new, to be fair. But this is Alcantara. So this, I, I, I assume this will wear if I don't wear gloves. I always try and wear gloves when I use it. Right, now, I have to give this a score out of 10. And it's very difficult for me to pick holes in this. I'm going to give it, after two years, I'm going to give this a 9 out of 10. 
and I'm struggling to dock the one, to be honest. I don't want to come across as too too kind of like crazy about it, but it, it just has not put a foot wrong. So I think if these were a bit better and had and had those little extra buttons as well, then that might be it. But honestly, I think for me, this is by far the best rim you can get for the money in the Fanatec ecosystem. And I just naturally prefer this shape to the round rims anyway. So it's a pretty competitive rim just generally at this price point, even when compared to other ecosystems. Anyway, hope you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you did, that'd be massively appreciated. Let me know if you've got any comments about it in the com in the comments, questions in the comments, and I'll see you next time.